where it gets better. The World Health Organization now says it needs $490 million to help combat what is the world's worst outbreak of the virus. And it'll be some time before they'll be able to fully control its spread. At the moment, our, uh, our leaders say that they would estimate six to nine months uh, before this outbreak can be contained. And you really want to feel that there are, you really want to see no more cases of Ebola. That's when you know it's contained. Um, so it's a long, it's a long haul still. It's a long distance to go still, unfortunately. This strain of Ebola is killing more than half of those who are infected. It's spread through contact with bodily fluids. And although there are controversial treatments now being trialled, there are no known cures. The major battle has been properly educating the public and fighting the fear inside the affected countries. The healthcare system ha has more or less broken down. Hospitals are closed, uh, clinics uh, are closed, some of them have reopened, uh, but the staff is afraid to go back because they, uh, they're afraid to get the disease. But health workers already trying to help treat and contain the outbreak are understaffed and under-resourced. And the spread isn't slowing down. More than 40% of all those infected contracted the virus in the past three weeks alone. They simply cannot keep up. The numbers is going up rapidly, faster than what we thought, uh, forcing us to adapt our plans and our strategy on a daily basis. Uh, it is really an extremely challenging situation for, for everyone. And MSF, we, we, we can't do more than we're doing now. The WHO is now helping 11 countries get ready for a possible spread of Ebola inside their borders, mostly neighbouring countries, by offering training and protective clothing. But the message from experts and leaders has been clear. The response needs to come not just from Africa, but the world over. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera. Turkey's outgoing Prime Minister.